Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 78 in chapter 9. In this chapter, we will talk about a little momentum. And in this system, we can say we have a car. The mass is given, mb, right? The velocity, we not don't know yet. It is. But we know on the car, there is a person. The mass is given. And it moves with relatively velocity 2 meter per second to the b. So this one, we can find the velocity for a is vb plus 2 meter per second, right? Another information we is given is about the center of mass for this system moves with 6 meter per second on this frictionless surface. So first one, we need to determine the velocity for the b. And then we can find the time taking for the A moves to the B. Then we can find how far away this car moves. Then how far away the car moves is we take the reference point as the ground. Do you agree? So when we do the how far it gives, so we need to find the VB first. And then we need to find time taking. Now we can see how can we find VB? We use this center of mass of our velocity equations. In this equation, you can see all the quantity is given except Vb. So you input the known quantity inside, you can get the Vb very easy. Now, how can you find time t? It tells you the person moves from one end of the car to another end of the car with the velocity 2 meter per second. Do you agree? In this time, we take the reference point as a car B, as a car B. So the distance it moved is from this end to this end, the length of the car is given, 25 meter. And also the velocity A to B is given, 2 meter per second. So that then the time is the given, this is second, sorry. So now we find the time taking. Now can you find how far away the car moves? So VB times T, agree? Thank you.